Russia has relinquished its position on Snake Island. Russia says it's withdrawn its garrison as a gesture of goodwill to prove it was not obstructing grain exports. Ukraine dismissed that assertion and claimed it as a win. Ukraine's foreign minister, Dmitry Kuleba, said on Twitter, they always downplay their defeats this way. Valery Zeluzhny, the Ukraine military's commander-in-chief, said on Telegram, I thank the defenders of Odessa region who took maximum measures to liberate a strategically important part of our territory. As per reports, while the island has been attacked by Ukrainian aerial assets, the knockout blows have been landed by intense artillery and MLRS strikes that made Russia vacated. Last updates state that two sorties of Russian Su-30 fighter jets dropping phosphorus bombs were flown over the island from the Russian-controlled Crimean Peninsula. This indicates that withdrawal was not voluntary and Russia is making attempts to destroy leftover assets before they fall into the enemy's hands. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the loss of Snake Island is a major setback for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that allows you to protect your privacy and identity online. It works on Mac OS, iOS, Windows, and Android devices with more than 5,400 servers in 60 countries available. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that can protect your privacy by preventing access to your internet traffic and enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Unlike many others, NordVPN now has a new threat protection feature that prevents malware from getting on users' devices and blocks trackers, intrusive and malicious ads, and harmful websites. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Also, NordVPN has launched an ultimate security package that gives you access to their VPN, password manager, and encrypted file storage. With the code DEFENSE, you can get a huge discount at the checkout for the two-year plan. On the 24th of February, 2022, the first day of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Snake Island, a Ukrainian island in the Black Sea, also known as Zeminyi Island, was attacked and was subsequently captured. The incident was hugely publicized when an audio clip of the Russian cruiser Moskva hailing the island's garrison over the radio, demanding their surrender, and being told, Russian warship, go fuck yourself. Viewers may note that earlier the island was chosen by President Zelensky in August 2021 for a press event amid Russian troops buildup on the Black Sea border. Zelensky had said at the time, This island, like the rest of our territory, is Ukrainian land, and we will defend it with all our might. The island is strategically located. It's 35 kilometers, or about 22 miles, south of the Ukrainian coast in the Black Sea, and about 300 kilometers, or 186 miles, west of Crimea the Ukrainian territory that Russia annexed in 2014. Snake Island's location allowed Russia to claim territorial waters stretching 12 nautical miles, or about 22 kilometers, out to sea. Russia had positioned both Tor and Pantsir short-range air defense systems in Snake Island, known by the NATO reporting names SA-15 Gauntlet and SA-22 Greyhound, respectively. The Tor is a self-propelled, all-weather, low to medium altitude, short-range, surface-to-air missile system designed for destroying airplanes, helicopters, cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and short-range ballistic threats, anti-munitions. Radar of the Tor detects aircraft at a range of 27 kilometers or 17 miles, helicopters at a range of 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles, and UAVs at a range of 15 kilometers or 9.5 miles. The maximum range of fire is 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles, 
and the maximum altitude is 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles, depending on the target speed. The Pantsir S-1 missile system is a self-propelled surface-to-air missile system. It is designed to provide point-air defense of military, industrial, and administrative installations against aircraft, helicopters, precise munitions, cruise missiles, and UAVs. The detection range is 22 miles or 36 kilometers, and the tracking range is 17 miles or 28 kilometers for a target with 2 square meters or 22 square feet RCS. Pantsir S-1 is unique. As it is the first version of the Pantsir family of air defense systems that combines short to medium range surface to air missiles and anti aircraft artillery in a single platform. The missiles have a range of 20 kilometers or 12 miles, a max speed of Mach 3.8, and carry a 20 kilogram or 44 pounds high explosive fragmentation warhead. Anti aircraft artillery is the two dual 2A38M 30mm auto cannon guns that are fitted with 700 rounds. The maximum rate of fire is 2,500 rounds per minute per gun. The cannon has a range of 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers. Now Russian assets, including warships in the Black Sea, have become more vulnerable to attacks. Just like Ukraine was able to hit Snake Island, Russia could have used Snake Island for attacks. Russia has several systems that have the required range. For example, Smirch system could be used as it has a range of about 70 kilometers or 44 miles. It is designed to counter tactical missile systems, army aviation at staging airstrips, as well as rocket, artillery and mortar battalions and batteries command post and manpower concentration areas, but this option is now removed. Snake Island covers crucial shipping channels to the port cities of Odessa, Mykolaiv, and Kherson. With Snake Island captured, Russia was able to cut off Ukraine from international markets, depriving its economy of trade revenues. Ukraine's economy is expected to shrink by an estimated 45.1% this year, although the magnitude of the contraction will depend on the duration and intensity of the war. Viewers may note that Ukraine is one of the main world exporters of grains as well as vegetable oils. The main agricultural export products are corn and wheat. In 2021, Ukraine was the second largest supplier of grains for the European Union EU, and a large food supplier for low- and middle-income countries in Asia and Africa. The release of Snake Island from Russian clutches will surely help the situation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.